court documents say that Lathrop confronted the victim and his wife at the Safeway store on Point Fostick Drive on Saturday. While blocking the exit, he asked for them to show the receipt of their purchases, despite store employees telling officers that the victim and his wife had not stolen anything. The victim refused, and the altercation soon turned physical, which ended with Lathrop firing several shots, hitting the victim in the neck. In court, prosecuting attorneys allege that this isn't the first time Lathrop has shot someone, pointing to an incident from April of 2021. Commissioner Craig Adams set bail at $100,000, stating that Lathrop's behavior could put others at risk. That could have been me, my wife, a child, or anyone else, just because of the assumptions that Mr. Lathrop may have made. I spoke with attorney John Sheeran about gun rights and the law. He says lethal force is justifiable for self-defense but making the claim can be difficult if you initiate the confrontation. That's not going to fly. You've got to be the one that is kind of in good graces the whole way through. Um, if, you want to, if you have to confront somebody or you want to confront somebody that you think is committing a crime, you can do that, but you can't be the one that escalates it to the point that deadly force becomes the option that you go to. Now, the victim was transported to a local hospital to get his injuries treated, but hospital staff told officers that his injury looks superficial. But for now, we're live in front of the Pierce County Courthouse. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.